Hi all, welcome back to another video. So in the previous video, we learned how to uh, how to create an independent library or a dependency or an SDK for the right of it client. And in this video, we will learn how we can host or we can publish this uh, dependency. So it means, uh, let's suppose right now, uh, the model that we have is a locally hosted that can be used within this system only. If you want to use this module across all the different application or you want to provide this as an open source SDK as well, then you have to host it remotely so that everyone can have access or uh, you can have access throughout your uh, projects. The benefit of hosting a project is uh, uh, you can scale your project or you can scale your uh, module and you can maintain your code at one place because when, a, when you are having a local um, module, then if you are using that module across your different projects, then you have to make a copy of that. And maintaining the project will be a difficult part over there, but when you're having it remotely, then it is quite easy because uh, all your code is at one place and uh, you are accessing it from there. So the first part is we have to push our code. So I've already created the repository for us. So I'm just gonna just push it. And if you're not familiar with the Git and GitHub, then I've already created one video and I'll just put it under the description so you can go through that. So just open the terminal, then first initiate, just copy. Now ignore. You put the ignore, that's fine. Dot idea. Every module demo. Okay, we have committed it. Now we'll just push our code. Let's push it. Okay, so we have pushed our code to the GitHub. Now let's just refresh the repository and we have our code here. So you can see the main app and the network module both has been uh, hosted to the remote. So to host it, we have different options are like if you heard about Haven, repository right so in the maven we have jetpack jfrog and you can also host on aws as well it totally depends how your repository is if it is a private public if you are working on public repository then it is easy to host anywhere because there is no restriction on that but there is a drawback that your code will be open to everyone and then anyone can uh, anyone can have direct access my repository is open source so uh, it's public repository so i can go with anything uh, so i'll just use the easiest one which, which is a chit pack so i'll just open the chit pack io and i'll just sign in okay i'm already signed in now you just have to copy your uh, github repository path and just paste it over here Just copy it and paste it over here. Just click on lookup. So right now it is just giving you the snapshot library module and how you can get it. Uh, you just have to add this uh, uh, on your Gradle file, then this is your dependency. So right now we have not released any version at all. So that means you can directly get your master snapshot. So whatever the code you are having in your master, the same snapshot, or uh, you can get it to your project but before accessing it we have to make minor changes in our project to have it available on the remote artifactory okay the first one is uh, you have to go inside your library uh, gradle file the first one is you have to add your 
maven publish and then next you have to just paste it here uh, your publishing part so here the uh, the publishing publications and registry so this is a straightforward syntax for publishing your code to that to maven and here release stands for your uh, release field now you just have to sync your project i'll just in the case I'll sync your project so right now it's giving an error because we have not added our main even completion sync the project so now after syncing the project the error will be gone so you can see the error is gone now now the next step is you have to create a jetpack yml file and jetpack dot yml file to your root directory and you have to add a small line of code over there that's it so here you can see i mentioned the jdk path before install and what should happen so I'm using JDK 17 here because for my Android Studio, if I'll show you, the JDK specified is 17. So here you can see 17.4.7. So the same version I specified over here. Why it is required? Because Jetpack executes or creates a build on the Java 8. And for our configuration, it is configured for the 17 so to make it run on 17 we have to do some customization whenever the build will start by the maven so it will always pick the java version specified by us so that is why we have mentioned 17 version and in case if your project is already running on java 8 and your android studio is configured with the java 8 then you don't have to do anything like that but whenever we are working with the latest android plugin android studio and all so we are working with java 17 so for this thing we have to do this now i think that's it so right now we we made three ch changes the first thing is we added the plugin and publish and we have uh, configured the publishing uh, logic and after that we have added the jetpack.yml now let's commit our code and let's push it so we will be configured. Let's commit and let's push it. And the code is pushed. Now we'll see here. Uh, and you can see the latest code has been pushed now the next thing is as i told you like this master snapshot is is going to take your latest master code most of the cases you must have seen the they have specified the versions so versions are nothing but just a tag because if you can see implementation here at the end there is a tag so how you can create the tag in our case we have right now zero tag so first we're gonna create one tag. Uh, we'll come, come over here, get the new tag, and just one point two point zero, and create tag. And now we have to push our tag. So just click on push, and at the bottom the push tags uh, checkbox has to be checked and just click on push anyway it's done now let's refresh the code so now we have one tag available now let's click on lookup again so right now if you can see you don't have that the tag that we have pushed in the chit pad so now the next thing what we have to do is we have to create a new release just click on that choose a tag the tag that we have created and just you can give anything uh, you have to give a name to your release which will identify it by the name so for my thing i'm just giving version 1.0.2 and i'm just matching each of these and publish release 
please. So now the version has been released. Now the next thing I'll just come here again and click on the lookup again. Now if you can see, you will see 1.0.0 here. Now that means the version has fetched by the jetpack. Now it will execute its uh, operation by creating a artifact for us. And meanwhile, what we can do is we can try to add it into our project. Mm -hmm. Or we can add it same way. Let's come to settings.gradle, copy and paste it. This part, jetpack IO is giving error because so this, this is the way we have to specify in the latest Gradle plugin. And now the next thing is we have to copy this part, copy and we just paste it here and the tag that we have to use which is 1.0.2 and we'll just update it for the latest copy in DSL and we'll just comment this one because at a time there can be one network module and that will be our uh, maybe the local one or the remote one Right now, we'll just try with the remote one. And meanwhile, you can just delink the local network module. So to delink it first, we have to comment it over here. Then in the settings, you have to comment from here. And once you comment it, it will be removed from here, network module. But still, it will be inside your project. And if you can see, it has been removed. When, when you go to your project, it is still there, but it is not been included in your project. Whenever it will be included in your project, then it will be in the pull style. Now you can come here and we'll see whether the Gradle is synced or not. No, it's not synced. There's some errors. So let's see. Sync the project again. Okay, it's given as the errors. Okay, so uh, there's an issue with this jetpack because earlier I was trying to create different builds and I've created the version till 1.0.7. In jetpack, if you've already created one build from one tag, that one cannot be removed from here because it can be used in the uh, different projects. What we're gonna do is we just gonna create a new tag from Android Studio, which is greater than that. So get Let's create the tag and that will be our 1.0.8. Create tag, push it. And that's it. Now let's come here again. Let's see. Okay, we have two tags now, which is 1.0.8. Now let's go to releases, draft new release. Choose a tag 1.0.8 version 1.0.8 initial release. You just have to provide the description what exactly the release contains and everything in the actual project. Okay, now let's look up. Now you can see 1.0.8 is uh, has been created. It's it has been fetched by the jetpack. Now, after some time, jetpack will start uh, creating the artifact for, for this tag. And you will see a progress bar under the log section. And now, in the meanwhile, I'll just update my version here. So instead of 1.0 point, here it will be eight. And you just have to click on sync now. Now it should work. Meanwhile, I'll show you the progress bar there. And here, if you can see it, uh, the progress bar is loading. So whenever you are creating a new release, new tag, and the jetpack is going to start creating the art artifact for you. And if there is any error in the build, then it will show you. It will give you a, a report like this and in the red colors. So that means there is an error in building the project. So you have to 
fix that issue and if it is in the green color that means you are really successful and you can add it into your project now let's see here okay, it's taking some time let's see okay still it's giving an error uh, okay let's wait for it to complete first i guess until unless the artifact is not ready we cannot use it into our project and meanwhile in the main activity you can see uh, there is an error with the retrofit client and because we have removed the the focal uh, module and we are trying to use the remote module and right now it is not uh, it is not included in the, into the project so that's why the error is there and once it is included the error will be gone and we will check whether it's working or not and you can see 1.0.8 and you can see green color report icon so that means this build is success and you can see get it icon in front of the button in front of the status so that means it is a success now let's come here and let's sync our project again and now you can see it has started downloading the module for us and now there are no errors and build is successful and if you go to the main activity this is also successful there is no the errors are gone now let's run our project and if you remember in the previous one we have configured the api base url from here and and if we go into this class it has taken us to the actual code and this code has not taken from the network module which we had over here uh, and if you open it here network module source main this will open a new class because if we can see the path at the top here library module demo 1.0.8 sources dot jar so it has that out of a client path is from that 1.0.8 uh, remote artifactory and this is from the local one so that means it has first from the remote one now let's open the logcat base url and you can see this is the base url which is printing so in this way uh, we can publish our library and we can access our library in our project there are a lot of benefits of uh, using it like you can scale your project uh, you can segregate your functionalities and you can create your independent modules and even you can contribute to the open source projects I hope this is a very helpful topic for you and thank you for watching this video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video